Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're reviewing Own You Fit. I think that's how you say it. This is Hannah Oberg's activewear line. I also think that's how you say her name, but I'm not entirely sure. So Hannah is a Swedish fitness influencer who was kind of one of like the OG Gymshark athletes. So classic girl starts out as a fitness influencer, works with Gymshark, then branches off and then starts her own activewear brand that is kind of similar to Gymshark. There are definitely a couple athletes who've done this. I also am trying to get my hands on Megan grubs line as well but last time i tried to buy anything from her website it was all sold out so whenever they have another launch i will be reviewing that as well so this brand is definitely relatively new they've only had three launches so far and there is definitely a lot of seamless stuff so again it definitely reminds me of gymshark stuff which i mean it makes sense if she liked gymshark enough to be a gymshark athlete she's gonna want to create stuff that is kind of like that so i bought as much as what was available on the website um we have quite a few different outfits and even some loungewear i will say something that concerned me was whoever packed my package did not do a great job because I already cut into it but you can see before I cut into it when they put like their little sticker thing when they closed the package they actually stuck it onto the clothing items and not onto the other side of the bag so someone could have easily reached in and pulled out some of my clothing so that was a little bit concerning so I haven't even tried to look in here yet so we'll see if maybe some things didn't make it so shipping was also pretty fast I believe it came to me in probably like less than a week. I wasn't looking too closely because I wasn't in a huge rush with these, but it came sooner than expected. So this is actually compostable little um, packaging. All right, we're going to start out with the OG seamless leggings. So I got these in a size small and they were $59.99. So kind of like similar to Gymshark pricing, I would say mid, maybe mid to high pricing, maybe a little bit more expensive than Gymshark. So I am pretty picky about my seamless leggings. I prefer them to be definitely on the stretchier side because sometimes you can get a thicker seamless that can kind of like squish your glutes down a little bit and not be super flattering. This definitely feels like it's going to be a thicker seamless, but there are pros and cons of that. So of course we always review things objectively here because if you do have a thicker seamless like this, it's definitely going to be like super durable for leg days and things like that. So the size range is okay. It definitely could be better. It's only extra small through extra large and there's only one length of the leggings. Unfortunately, that is pretty small standard. Sometimes I just like to read the website descriptions. It's saying that it's a buttery, soft, extra stretchy, breathable fabric. And if there's one thing I hate in the activewear industry, it's the overuse of the word buttery soft. Nothing about this legging is buttery soft. Like it's not brushed. It's not even like really soft. It's a seamless, I don't know. I've never described a seamless legging as buttery soft. I think that's a little you know, overboard. 97% polyamid, 3% elastane. Just how it feels right now is giving like Gymshark energy seamless. Oh yes, and we'll talk about this in a minute. But we have the classic Gymshark booty hole scrunch. It looks like a sphincter, you know? And this is just not my favorite type of scrunch because it doesn't actually do anything other than look like, you know, it looks like a sphincter. But maybe it'll look better on. It didn't really look great on the models on the website, but We'll see. So we have a compressive ribbed waistband and it does seamlessly go into the leggings. It's not sewn on, which is neither a pro or a con, but it makes it nice and seamless. There's some like kind of raised seam detailings down the leg, which I didn't notice was there. So that adds a little bit to the leggings. They are seamless legging, obviously, so they're going to be seamless in the front. This is kind of like my least favorite type of logo and my least favorite logo placement. I feel like it's really obvious. This is where a lot of like white labeling activewear brands put logos on their leggings. Like they just like buy a basic legging and put like a generic white logo there. So it's just like not my favorite place for a logo. I prefer it on the back of the waistband if there's gotta be a logo at all. But we have the little OU there. It's a press on vinyl logo like the Gymshark ones. Gymshark isn't the only one to do it, but you know. A little slightly extended gusset there. And let's go over some of the details. So here's a close up of the ribbed waistband. And then there's this raised kind of detailing down the leg. It also kind of curves around in the back. It's not really a glute con tour though. And then you have that scrunch in the back. Definitely a stiffer scrunch doing quite a bit of gathering back there. And as compared to something like the Amplify legging scrunch, it goes a lot further up. So here's an Alphalete Amplify scrunch that goes all the way from the waistband to the gusset. And then this scrunch, you can see it's about an inch away from the waistband and an inch or more away from the gusset down there. So Definitely a significantly shorter scrunch and that makes it not go up the glutes as well. And then there's also some detailing down the back of the leg. So let's try it on. Silly me for following the size guide and thinking if all of my measurements are well within a size small, I should be a size small, right? Well, I 
am struggling to get to the crotch up. It is not, it is not there. They definitely have that like really like stiff, seamless feeling. Like they have stretched to them, but once you get to a certain point, it's stiff, especially with these seams. So I like can barely get these all the way up where they need to be. So I don't really think it's true to size. Thank God I only got one pair of leggings because this is all I can do today. Okay, I'm kind of slowly inching them up. You know, this is way more work than I want to actually put into getting a pair of leggings on. I can just tell that if I sized up, the waistband would not be snug. It would probably gape. So I don't know if it's necessarily a sizing problem or a fabric problem because I cannot go further than this without feeling like I'm going to actually like rip these leggings like very tight on the seams. You know, if we want to be fair to the size chart, let me just check my measurements right now. Last time I measured, I was like a 98 centimeters. This is 97 centimeters, which is well within the size small on the size chart. 96 to 100 centimeters. So I should be able to fit into it. The waist on a size small says 66 to 71. So let's check that. And I'm right about at like a 67.5 again. Shouldn't be an issue fitting into these. There was no thigh measurement or anything, and I know I definitely have larger thighs for my size, but to be fair, Hannah herself has like incredible quads and like probably also has a pretty large thigh measurement, so that really shouldn't be a problem. Nothing makes me more disappointed than a brand that like can't even follow their own size chart because that's like a bare minimum kind of thing. I should be able to put in my measurements and have you tell me what size it is. I'm not even going off like, oh, I wear a four to six US. So I should be in a small? No, I literally take my measurements, plug it into the size chart, and I should be able to fit into that size. So I don't know. I mean, I guess they do fit in some areas, like it does fit in the waist very well. Maybe it's more of like a fabric issue. I don't know. These definitely need some work. So I actually do like the waistband. I feel like it's doing a good job. It's compressing. Um, it even goes a little bit down to the lower tummy area for maybe a little lower tummy control. Goes to a nice high rise. Feels like it snatches a little bit, but it's not so compressive that you're gonna feel like squished out of it. We have the logo here, but everything I do in these leggings, I feel an incredible amount of tightness. And like I said, with my seamless leggings, I really prefer a stretchier seamless. These are going to definitely interfere with my workouts because if I tried to squat in these, I'm feeling so much tightness that I wouldn't even want to like continue. And it's not like wedgy tightness, it's just like the leggings lack a lot of stretch. So not a fan of the fabric. I don't think it's very conducive to good workouts. You need to have stretch in leggings because if I can really lift my leg up like this much, I don't know. I gotta be able to move. All right, let's put that aside. So otherwise, compression, it, I, I would say it's more on the medium to high compression side, mostly because it's just really tight and has like very little stretch from there. So going to be pretty compressive. We have that kind of contour detailing. It goes down the side a little bit onto the quads here. And then it also goes down the leg. I will put the inseam on the screen at the end, but definitely more of like a seven eighths, not like full, full length. It's definitely on the thicker side of fabrics. So not really like a summer legging or anything. It might hide sweat a little bit just because it's on the thicker side. Definitely a durable material as well. It does not attract pet fur. It's on the sleeker side of seamless. And then here's the sphincter scrunch we talked about. So first of all, the issue is the scrunch just kind of sits right in the middle here and doesn't really actually do anything to like separate the glutes, which is kind of the purpose of a scrunch. And even if the scrunch was all the way up, this fabric is so stiff that there's no room to pull the fabric up and around the glutes and do what like something like an Alpha Lee Amplify scrunch does. So this is really just sitting there doing nothing but looking kind of strange. If you ask me, like I'd rather have a unibutt look than have whatever this is. So not a big fan. Um, I also feel like with all the contouring they did, they could have done like a little under glute contour or something, like a subtle one because all this material like around here is very subtle, but it might be somewhat cellulite friendly as well because it is on the thicker side, kind of like a denser seamless. Let me know in the comments down below what we think of this kind of scrunch. I just like don't really see the purpose of it. I don't really feel like it does much and it's just very, very visible. Like there's no hiding this kind of scrunch. One last little full body view. I am tall, so they're not very long on me. Would have been nice like Honor Active came out with two lengths of leggings. I thought that was a good idea. I also feel like the the back of these goes down too low, probably because I just couldn't pull them up enough. Could could be a little higher. Okay, even sitting down, it just feels so uncomfortable. Like it's gonna be a no, it's gonna be a pass. All right, then I got the long sleeve cutout crop. So I also got this in a size small. It's made of that same 
seamless material. Doesn't feel like it's going to be an itchy type seamless and feels like it has pretty good stretch. This one is a crew neck. It looks pretty small, but seamless tends to stretch. It looks like they're just regular sleeves without thumb holes. Personally, I prefer thumb holes, but it's not a deal breaker. And then the back has a pretty open cutout. So you'd have to be careful like matching your sports bras back here, as well as a little bit of that raised kind of detailing down the arm. All right, here's the top. This one is feeling better to me so far. I believe this is the same material. I was seeing some slight variations between the pieces. Like some of them had like maybe a percentage or two more elastane. So I feel like this might have more elastane to it because I'm getting a ton more stretch than the leggings. So why not just make the leggings out of this material, you know? Would have been nice. But yeah, this material is feeling better. So in terms of the seamless, it's definitely more of like a sleek seamless. I'm not getting that like itchy seamless feeling. This one is also much more on the stretchy side. So this is the long sleeve crop and it is pretty cropped. Um, this is just going a little bit below that sports bra, which the sports bra is kind of creeping up onto my bust. So probably about the same as a sports bra that's sitting normally would go. On the short side, don't wear a long line sports bra under this. We have the logo right here. Again, um, not my favorite. Uh, it is a crew neck. It goes pretty close to the neck. It's not bothering me at all. The sleeves are full length on me. Again, there are no thumb holes or anything, but it does have a nice stretch to it. And I do find myself wearing little tops like this as a warm up at the gym from time to time. So it's cute. It is again, hard to find a bra that's not going to peek through the middle there. But if you're looking to kind of showcase the back of a sports bra, if it has some cute strappy details and it goes right into that little cutout, that could also be cute. And this one I would say is true to size. I'm not feeling anything too tight or restricting in the size small for this one. Next we have the OG seamless shorts. Can someone explain to me why no brand puts the inseams of their stuff? on the website. I just like truly don't understand if they have that information, why they don't, because so many brands don't. But this looks like kind of a longer biker short. I will measure the inseam, maybe like, maybe like a six inch. So not like actually super long. I got these in the same size as the leggings and they're basically the same as the leggings. So ribbed compressive waistband. We have the little scrunch in the back and as well as a little raised detailing that goes down the side of the leg and kind of wraps around to the front there. So let's try it on. Okay, so I'm surprised to say the shorts and the small are fitting better than the leggings in a size small. They're still not perfect, but I was able to get them on so much easier because I didn't have to like inch all the fabric of my leg. The last ones were just like way too tight in the legs. Like the leggings had no space for any leg muscle, leg fat, anything just, okay, anyways. So these are the shorts made of the same material as the leggings, definitely more of like a biker length, high rise, compressive waistband, still about like medium, medium to high compression throughout. They're seamless, so there's no front seam, but yeah, they definitely could use more space in the thighs. Again, it's just like, it's hard for me to understand why someone who has thighs would create a brand that like doesn't really have very thick thigh friendly things. Just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. So we have the shorts on, but I'm definitely getting a lot of compression at the bottom of the shorts. I don't know if it's really showing up on camera, but I definitely feel cut into, like they are not thick thigh friendly. Like I can barely stretch this. So they will definitely stay down though. Like I can tell that these are not going to roll up because they're long enough and compressive enough down there to the point where they're not gonna do that. But I would have liked a little more room at the bottom seam of the thighs. Again, that just comes down to this fabric, not having enough stretch to it and the seams down here. I just feel like they chose a seam that like didn't have any additional stretch to it as well. So that makes it kind of tough. Um, we have that seam detailing going down the side, kind of wrapping around the front here. And then we have the back again, just like a medium on the booty scale. These ones I was able to pull up a little more, but the fabric just doesn't have the stretch to really contour it around the glutes. So you just are left this little scrunch that doesn't really do anything. It just kind of sits there. Again, you know, I just would rather either do a full scrunch or don't do any scrunch because this in between isn't enough and doesn't do anything. Surprisingly, the Honor Active scrunch is also a similar height, but the way it's placed in the fabric they chose for the leggings, like the Honor Active Effortless Seamless, those actually do work to really contour the glutes and it's not like a full length scrunch, but this one, because it's placed like kind of in the middle of the top, just doesn't do anything. So yeah, I mean, like in the shorts, better than the leggings, but it still is not something that I would wear. It's not something I find comfortable, especially if you have some thighs. It makes it kind of difficult, so. I felt like the bra options were pretty limited and there didn't look to be like a ton of supportive bras. So this is what we're going with. This is the tube bra, $44.99 and it matches the shorts. Looks like it'll be kind of a lower coverage, but we have that seamless material logo here, ribbed band along the bottom, similar to the top of the leggings. And then it kind of goes back into that little Y, like that Lululemon flow Y bra kind of style. Straps are very stretchy, but they are on the thin side. So I hope they'll be comfortable. 
comfortable and it does have removable cut pads. This isn't my favorite shape of cut pad, but I will say usually when I see this kind of like rounded shape with a square bottom, they're very crinkled and not good, but this one actually is holding its shape really well and feels like it's a good thickness. So I'm actually gonna give a thumbs up on the cut pads. Okay, here's the tube bra and the other bra that we're going to talk about today. That one, I felt like the straps were almost like a little bit too short and they were adjustable, but this one, I feel like the straps are too long and I'm not really getting any lift. So I am staying mostly in the actual bust part of the bra on this one. I still would say it's not the most large cup size friendly, but I am fitting into it. Really minimal side boob here and it does scoop, but I'd still give it like a light to medium coverage. The straps might be a blessing that it's not too tight in the straps because they're very thin and the stitching is on the inside, which makes them feel like a little bit itchier. So it might create some irritation on the traps here. Very light support, very light support. So definitely not your high impact bra, but we kind of knew that. And then you have that little Y back in the back. I almost like this one more than the twist back bra that we'll also be reviewing just because I feel like the simpler shape, I feel like for seamless, simpler is almost better. Either way, still not the most large cup size friendly bra, but if you're a small cup size and you're not looking for like a ton of lift, it's going to be like a nice kind of lower coverage bra matches the bottoms if you are trying to get a full set and it's still overall cute. Another bra I got, this is the twist back bra. Oh my gosh, this looks so tiny. This looks so tiny. Okay, we'll just hope that it stretches. Okay, I think this is the first thing I've seen, or maybe I haven't looked inside the waistbands, but all of the um, information, like the size, the material and everything is actually embroidered into the fabric of the bra band. So I feel like this is going to be like similar coverage and support to the tube bra. So I kind of would have liked to see maybe like a tank option and a spaghetti strap, not just two spaghetti strap options. But this one has a little more of a dip down, almost like a sweetheart neckline. It has the little sphincter scrunch in the front as well. It doesn't always bother me on sports bras. It's almost just more of like a little gathering detail. And then the twist back detail is actually cuter than I thought. It kind of like twist the straps around a couple times. And then it's adjustable, but it's only adjustable like a tiny little bit. I feel like it would have been better if the strap adjustment was in the front of the strap because even though it's more visible, there's more space to adjust the strap, but at least they're a little bit adjustable. So let's see the back. So here's the little twist back detail and then adjustable in the back. And the straps are actually thicker than the tube bra straps. So they might be a little more comfortable. Okay, here's the twist back sports bra. In general, I don't love seamless fabric sports bras. I feel like seamless does better with leggings. Um, but this one, if you're wanting like a full set, I think this one is cute. So we have the little extra compressive band along the bottom, but because there's not a lot of room in the bust space for this one for like larger cup sizes, my bust is definitely kind of taking up some of this band here. So the band is supposed to be below the bust, but for me, it's just gonna ride right up. So that makes me kind of have like a little less support. This one's not super large cup size friendly. We have that little scrunch detail in the front. I just feel like it's cuter on a sports bra than on a legging. It gives you kind of like, I don't know, like a little ruched detailing, a little more sweetheart neckline on this one. I feel like that's pretty flattering. I'm not really getting a whole lot of side boob, maybe like a tiny little bit. Overall coverage I would say is light to medium, even though it's pretty scooped. And even though it doesn't look like a ton of coverage and the scooping is pretty low, I'm not like falling out in any sort of way. So light to medium support. So support is also a light support. The straps are just not doing a whole lot there. Straps are more comfortable than expected. I might get a little tightness over time, which is kind of to be expected with a spaghetti strap sports bra, but I've definitely had worse. So I'm not feeling like itchiness cutting in right now. And then we have the twist back in the back with the adjustable straps. I didn't do any adjusting to them. I feel like if anything, I could loosen up the straps a little bit. And otherwise the seamless material they use for the sports bras is pretty soft and definitely stretchy like that long sleeve top. So definitely for smaller cup sizes, it's not like the most like unique creative bra ever, but does the job. Next we have the boxy tee. So this one kind of reminded me of that Honor Active top because when Honor Active, another ex Gymshark athlete who created her own line of like seamless stuff. See, it's Chrissy, it's Hannah and Megan Grubb. I feel like they're all kind of doing the same thing, but that's just, that just seems like the general life path of these people. But you know what? They're working hard. They have their success. So this kind of reminded me of that Honor Active top because they also had like that giant boxy tee that had a little way to like cinch it in the bottom, except this one threw me off. I didn't expect it to be like 
kind of like shoelaces in the bottom, but we'll see. So this is the boxy tee. It also feels like it's made of a seamless material, but definitely a more lightweight. This one is 100% recycled polyamid. It actually has some stretch to it, so I'm surprised there's no elastane. I got a size small. Definitely looks like it's going to be like a boxy cropped fit. Again, don't love the logo placement. I just feel like a lot right in the middle of your chest. Like I think that would be cuter like in the upper mid back or something. And then you can kind of cinch in the bottom of the top with these little shoelaces. Like they're they're like actually like shoelace material. So this is the material of the little drawstring. This is the material of the shirt. Definitely a lot lighter weight. I just, I feel like this would kind of snag, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Also all their tags seem like they're made of like recyclable materials and they're all attached with safety pins. And that's my favorite way because I just, you can easily remove it and not worry about like ripping the fabric or anything. So I love the safety pins. And then you also have a little collection of safety pins for your own purposes. I always save mine. All right, here's the boxy tee. This is just fully loosened, not cinched at all at the bottom. So this is a size small. So you are getting kind of a boxy relaxed fit in a small, but it's not super oversized. The material is actually really nice and lightweight. It's soft. Um, Feels like a good layering piece if you don't want something that's too heavy. Again, I just really feel like the front and center logo, I just don't feel like it's cute. I feel like it kind of cheapens the look a little bit. It's not my favorite. And then we have the back. There's really no details on this one. It's just like a plain T. And then you have these little strings that you can tie up. Usually I see more of like a draw cord, like adjuster type thing for this. So it's a little bit different than what I normally see, but you can kind of tie it up, just tuck it in. And then you have that little like cinched in look. So it's kind of a longer crop, goes to the top of the legging waistband, which is nice, much longer than the other crops today. But the little shoelace thing, it doesn't have any stretch to it. So you will be pretty restricted when you tie it, if you tie it tight. So I would leave a little bit of space. So I'm not sure something like this is really worth it to me. I feel like this one was still a little bit on the pricey side, but I do like this style of shirt. Next, if you want a top with a little bit more coverage, there's the sporty zip crop top. Uh, definitely in this white, it's going to be pretty sheer. So you're gonna have to wear something below it, but it's a little like half zip mock neck tank with a cutout in the back, just like the long sleeve top. And I got this one in a size small. Then you have the logo on the top left. All right, here's the sporty zip crop. I feel like the sports bra underneath kind of gives my bust kind of like a weird shape that is making this look, I don't know. I feel like I'm not getting lifting and rounding like with the sports bra. So maybe not the most flattering with this sports bra underneath, but definitely a snug fit. So um, if you're wanting like a skin tight fit, true to size, if you want a little bit looser size up. Um, it's definitely a good like inch or two below the band of your sports bra. So longer than that long sleeve top. You can definitely tell that the white is sheer. So you're going to be able to see whatever color sports bra you're wearing underneath. And you also have that cutout in the back. So we are seeing the sports bra straps through that as well. Nice lightweight, soft material though. And you can zip it up. The zipper is just okay. It could be, could be worse, but it's not great. To a mock neck. The zipper also has like a little own you um, logoing on the plastic. So I feel like I'd wear this either fully zipped down or fully up. I don't wear pieces like this very much, but if you like a little more coverage than just a regular sports bra, it's a nice layering piece. And finally, we are onto the lounge wear. So I got the oversized joggers in a size small, and these were $69.99, so a little bit pricey. First impressions, ugh, oh, they're not soft on the inside. Okay, they're not, they're not fleece lined on the inside, unfortunately, but I am liking the logoing so much better on the joggers. Like that just looks so much more elevated and elegant. The little vinyl press on logo that's on the activewear. It's like a tonal, like blends in with the fabric and it's like raised and just like feels much more luxurious. So yeah, we got some joggers. They're meant to be oversized. So I didn't size up in them. They're 100% cotton. So unfortunately not going to have any sort of stretch in them. Classic jogger. They have little cuffs at the bottom and I will show the inside and the outside. So here's the inside. It's just kind of like a loop, almost like tear kind of thing and the outside is just like regular kind of sweatshirt material it's not very soft but maybe maybe durable personally i do like if i'm going to have like a heavy sweatpant like this i would rather it have that fleece lining that's like really soft against your skin okay i'm glad to see that the joggers are not too tight anywhere or anything so definitely true to size for the joggers we have a little bit of extra space and it kind of skims the thighs but it's definitely not too tight on them anywhere and because they don't have any stretch to them you kind of need that oversized fit so that you can move around comfortably but yeah i'm actually a big fan of the fit of these joggers they also have a nice high rise and definitely like a nice thick cotton material. So I've definitely had some cheaper feeling 
sweats that don't have stretch to them. And I would say that this actually feels pretty good and pretty durable. So the drawstring is on the inside of the joggers. So because they're a nice high rise, you can roll them down and wear them with the drawstring on the outside if that's what you prefer. Personally, I prefer an external drawstring, but um, I prefer not to tuck my waistband at all. We also have decently spacious pockets. The pockets on the inside are actually softer than what it is against your leg. So again, I would still prefer some fleece lining on the inside to make them extra soft but alas we don't have that they're not itchy it's just not like super soft then the length they are joggers so i feel like they could be a little bit on the shorter side but um they definitely go to my ankles a little more tall girl friendly on the joggers this little ivory color was not the best color for me to pick when i have not self tanned in a while but we're making it work and then just pretty basic on the back so i definitely feel like the joggers are the best bottoms of the day if you don't need to have that kind of fleece lining they're actually pretty nice and lastly i got the cropped sweatshirt this was $54.99 also in a size small also 100 cotton kind of like a boxy oversized sweatshirt no fleece lining but it's a nice like heavy cotton material logoing in the bottom left and you can also cinch the waist on this one as well so I like that you have the option it's not like automatically like an elastic in there you can cinch it if you want or you can wear it boxy oversized let's try it on all right here is the sweatshirt and I'm liking the fit of this one so it's definitely cropped to the point where I will be showing skin even with my arms down and relaxed so it could be a little bit longer but if you're looking for that kind of like two-piece fit look where you can tell it's two pieces, then it's a good length. Definitely boxier than the boxy crop. Like this is definitely a much wider fit up here. So very loose and flowy. The material is like a nice cotton. So you're not getting any stretch from it, but it feels like it's going to be durable. And it's definitely a nice heavy weight and feels good quality where like I didn't love the legging material or any of that seamless. I do feel like this is like a higher quality item. We have these little arm cuffs. Sleeves are full length. Again, it is pretty cropped. So you are gonna show skin when you raise your arms. And and you have that same little drawstring that you had on the boxy crop, except this one is also a thicker drawstring material. Because it's so oversized, you really have to tighten it to get this to be, okay, wait, that's like kind of weird. I feel like it's mostly tightening in the front and not the back. I don't know, you have to tighten it a lot to get any sort of cinched effect. So I'm not sure I really like that. I probably would leave it more open like this, but then you also have two little strings hanging out. So I don't know, because it's so boxy there, it's really hard to get it cinched like the boxy tee did. So yeah, in terms of sizing, I would definitely say true to size. If you want a boxy fit, you don't need to size up. You could probably even size down if you want it a little bit less boxy. All right, guys, that's it for the review. I knew there was a reason I wasn't like super excited to film this video because I just had a feeling that I would be a little bit disappointed. I really do try to look for the positives and things, but I really just felt like the seamless material was just like a poor fabric choice. It just doesn't have the stretch to it. All of the seams were very stiff and these are made to work out in and I could just not see myself being comfortable and free moving in a workout with these. So that's definitely disappointing. I know that it is a new brand, but if I were to create a brand, I'm not creating a brand, guys, okay? I'm just saying, if I were, I wouldn't be releasing something unless it was like perfect, which I know everyone has different opinions, but objectively, they were just not very comfortable leggings. So maybe they will have a different fabric choice in the future, but for now, I would say Def's definitely not a huge fan. The lounge set is definitely cute. I liked how the joggers fit a lot. I would have liked maybe a different style for the top sweatshirt, but again, I would have wished for it to be fleece lined, but if it's not a deal breaker for you, it's a nice jogger set. The material feels nice, heavyweight, and durable. So that definitely was one of the better pieces that launched. All right, guys, leave your comments down below with any requests for new videos and new brands to test out. And as always, if you made it this far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.